Now, if you find a tick, what should you do? So it's very common that uh, a friend or neighbor will call me up somewhat hysterical because they just found a tick. So the first thing to do is take a deep breath. If the tick is not attached, you've got nothing to worry about at all. And even if the tick is attached, we usually say that it takes about a day or more for a tick to actually transmit the germs that cause Lyme disease. Now ticks can transmit a couple of things, but generally speaking, even if you find a tick that's attached, you're still gonna be okay. So let's say that you find a tick that is attached. Well, you wanna remove it, and you wanna do so as carefully as possible. So the first step is to remain calm, you know, get to a seated place where you're not uh, standing or unstable, and get some tweezers and gently and slowly and gradually pull it off until it comes loose. Now it is common that people will have uh, some of the, the tick mouth parts re retained in the skin and those will fall off as your body pushes them out naturally. We're often told that we should light a match, blow it out, and use that to burn the tick off. That's generally not a good idea. You're going to burn yourself as well and that just sets you up for more things like infections or wounds there. Now when you get the tick off, you do want to save it because odds are with some Googling, you'll be able to identify what kind of tick is this and is this the kind of tick that can cause Lyme disease or carry it rather. And in fact, if you wanna spend a little money to know for sure, you can even mail it to any number of labs in the state of Massachusetts that will test the tick and also test it for germs. And so that's an option, but oftentimes you can Google it and say, oh, this isn't a, a deer tick, this isn't the kind that causes Lyme disease, and then you can rest easy. 